Hey guys, this is the Omega Bacon here once more. Uh, I'm going to be trying something a bit different today. I'm going to be playing a PlayStation 3 game. I'm recording with my camera so it's not being recorded straight off the machine. So do let me know how you think this, this looks. Any feedback is always welcome. Today's game is going to be Deus Ex Human Revolution for the PS3. Obviously this is a bit of an old game but it's just come out recently for free on the PlayStation Plus for EU members. So I've downloaded it, it's on my hard drive and I thought I'd just do a quick sort of first playthrough, not playthrough but first impressions of the game. So let's get right in there. I won't bother too much with the um, story, I'll skip through that otherwise it's going to get too long. Anyway here you can see the cool sort of menu, very stylized, like the colours and the sort of futuristic shapes, let's get into a new game got three options here, tell me a story give me a challenge and give me Deus Ex I like his glasses but I'm gonna go for the normal setting I guess it is and let's jump right in here we can see the uh, who I assume is the main protagonist looking pretty badass in his uh, swanky little couch there with his glass of whiskey his beastly bionic arms and uh, yeah let's see what he gets up to obviously this is a first person shooter but it also has some RPG elements and it's open world alright this is a cutscene I'm going to skip that otherwise it's going to take too long and we're in the game I have to say off the bat it looks pretty good some nice details all very futuristic I like that sort of like sort of cluttered environments looks really cool quite impressive and then there's some uh, some hottie over here you have got to talk to and this is it, well it's not a cutscene, I can move his head, look around we're obviously in some science lab it's probably where they're making the um, the implants and whatnot. It looks cool, lots of people I like this sort of colouring, so everything's got a sort of yellow vibe to it Characters look pretty good. I like all the designs are well done. Even down to their clothes look sort of futuristic. Hop to it, old man. Mm, could be too many peptides. That's what my initial thoughts were. Okay, so I can just move his head around here, look around, around the environment. Let's see what they're doing in here. So like someone's having some kind of operation. A bit gruesome. Some man over here in a shell suit having a little run with some bionic legs by his side. Pretty smart. Damn it, Eddie. Yeah, he's a bit of a bitch, isn't she? Let's keep going. Who's this rip lad here? Looks like he's got a, a robotic arm, that's pretty cool. It's a skin colour. Maybe some military contract scene going on here. He's got a nice little moustache, that man. What's going on in here? Looks like we're going to have some sort of disco or something. A little rave up. Yeah, our lights go in. Obviously the bebop. Ooh. That's not a disco I would like to go to. Poor lads got absolutely smoked. Yeah, so weapons contracting, I guess. I'm afraid I have to run, but the silly has all this expense to it. Yeah, me and you got a date, babe. Let's go. You're missing the point. Yeah, so I think it, this is sort of uh, bringing up, you know, there's a sort of grey area. Is using uh, implants really a good thing? Having too much technology it could be dangerous. So it's quite a good um, moral issue to think about. Cutscene now. So there's our protagonist, he's not got any of his uh, technology installed at the moment. I think we'll find out about that in a little bit. It's quite 
dialogue driven so far. So obviously these two have got some uh, some history behind them. Don't seem too close now though, do they? Getting the old cold shoulder. So look out the window. Well, it looks a bit bland, but sort of as a basic sort of background. It's pretty cool. That yellow vibe going on. Good evening. Don't like the look of this fella. He's got big hands. And big pointy nose. Then again, I've got a big nose, so I can't really complain. He's a bit creepy, isn't he? He did actually. Ex-cop. So obviously, I've got some police background. The protagonist has any? That's SWAT. Even better. So uh, he can handle himself. Let's get out of here. That's a bit scary, you know, having people track you down from an implant, know where you're going, what you're doing. It's quite interesting. Alright, this looks like some. Looks like the big boss's uh, room, doesn't it? A bit swankier than the rest of the place. Got some balls on the roof, I imagine. It's exactly how it's going to be in the future. Baseball there, still enjoy the baseball in the future. Robo baseball or something like that. Check out his uh, robot hand. I'm liking his clothes, even that sort of got that you know, futuristic look to it, very sharp edges. Just thinking in chess as well. Uh -oh. Everything was yellow, now it's gone red. Something's going down, finally some action, hopefully. I'll make swats while we'll be alright. 0451 for the elevator. Probably forget that. Right, so that's me back in control now. Let's see if we can get in this elevator. What was it? Oh, four, five, one. That's the badger holding one. I usually forget those kind of things. And let's go down. Pritchard, where's Don't really know what's going on. Could be terrorists. Probably terrorists. When technology goes wrong, what do we do? Yeah, yeah, leave it to me. Oh, hello. Now we're talking. I won't do the tutorial stuff because that'll just take up more time. Let's see what the controls are. L1, not doing anything. I think that's take cover. Yeah, so L1, take cover. R1, shoot. L3 to duck. I don't know how to aim. Okay, so R3 is to look down the iron sight, which is sort of a bit strange. It's not very common. I think Killzone 3 was the last game I played that was like that. And let's see if we can go shoot someone in the face. Still, so the uh, lighting looks very cool and the sort of particle effects. Some, something bad's happened here. I don't know if I can sprint or I can jump. Yeah, who's this here? Eh? Some beastie boy. Steady. I can't shoot for that. He's got some kind of machine gun out. I wonder if I can get one of them later on. It's just completely ignored me. Come through here. Moving objects. Alright, I see. So, great physics. Great. I think you can get through this duct here. If I duck down. Good. A bit of the uh, solid snake action. And where are we now? I think we're on the other side of that glass. See if we can track down that big guy. I'll show him what's for. Alright, looks like we're gonna be fighting someone soon. I'm not sure about the controls, so it should be interesting. 
so we can take cover by this door. Right, that's cool, we can open the door from cover. Take cover. Ah, oh, someone up there. Oh dear. There's two lads up there. Not a very good shot, am I? I thought he was dead, he's still alive. Oh, he's throwing a great dice, that really. Let's move. Oh, I've been flashed, flash banged. Don't know where I am now. Okay, so the cover system works fairly well. I'm still struggling a bit with the controls, but. Let's see kind of... right, I think that one's dead. Still got one more. I think the life regenerates, so if I take cover for a little while, I should be fine. Let's see if we can get this lad here. Alright. I'm surprised I survived that after getting flashbanged. 